Welcome back guys. Our main character today is Mega Layla, who can be used in both the text and light towers. Let's start off with Moonton favorite, the text faction. With these many heroes that we gotta invest in, the tech tower is very easy. Moonton clearly loved this faction more than the others. You have tanky frontline with Atlas and Lolita, and on top of all that, they got a freaking healer. Why do they get a healer? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, you just can't. So there, these are the 10 heroes to use in the text faction, and you should work on making more Angela as she's way too valuable in PvP. Forget the tech tower for a moment, I wanna show you the impact of text heroes in the campaign. So the key hero here is Nathan. Dangerous frontline enemies such as Gushin or Badang are completely shut down by Nathan. You see here, Nathan can banish the enemies, leaving one target for your carry to kill. That little Pokemon you see there is just Gushin being transformed by Angela's glorious skill. So the poor Gushin is taken out before he could cause any harm. That's the second Angela being used. And this is the third Angela. I suggest that you have at least three Angelas for Honor Arena. And here's Claude. Claude is used to stop the enemy early passive skills. He's among the best crowd control heroes in the game for that lovely monkey. And let me introduce you to my partner, Dexter. Aww. Showtime! Now, Dexter! Wow! Ah. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the weak ones die. This is your the magic of justice. The weak ones bid farewell. Today, in the magic of justice. Laser! Let me show you the showtime! You're your device, oh. So far you've seen 7 tech heroes, with Mega Layla in the last battle, that's 8 out of 25 heroes I used for 65-45. Now back to the tech tower, don't forget that Claude can stop Saber no matter where Saber stands. That's why he's one of the key heroes in Tinted Mirage. So here's our first tech squad. We invest in carry for guild bosses, so might as well use her as the main damn dealer. It's time for me to get an upgrade. Don't you hurt my doctor! Doctor! I cannot... I... For our second squad, Mega Layla only needs people to buy her time. You should be using Atlas together with Mega Layla. Lolita damage reduction can be interrupted by the enemies, making her less tanky than Atlas. Them down. Go 
Remember this strategy because we'll be doing the same for the light towers. I'll leave it. Forgive me. The reason why you should be using Diggy. Oh yeah. Nah, it's because he's a healer. We use him to keep Atlas alive longer so Mega Layla can finish the fight. The live action advantage is Sylvana, who's needed for all boss fights. Especially if you're using the new support Rista, then Sylvana is required to protect the team, otherwise everybody will be transformed into Erebus. So here's our two squads. Mega Layla squad, again, we just need to buy time for her, so any tanky heroes will do. For the Sylvana squad, Odette and Guinevere are used for damage and crowd control. I also suggest that you run Minsita for the energy boost. But you can run Zhang E for more damage, it's up to you. The general strategy is to look for dangerous AoE enemies. Guinevere is very good at emptying energy, so you don't have to worry about their skills. Move your Guinevere to fight them. Sometimes you might want to move Uranus to the Sylvana squad to help control enemies like Franco or Hellcut. Their passive skills can be cancelled by Uranus fast taunt. You what? Hi, it's one of a kind. The magic of justice. Give me your power. Right now. <laughs> Give me your power! Please help! 
guards! Take them down! <laughs> the magic of justice! I need to break down! Listen! Give me your power! Of course, when you don't invest in these heroes, you run into problems like I've shown you in the intro where the team for Mega Layla is killed before she could finish off the enemies. The thing is, Light Faction already got their hybrid, so no more help is coming anytime soon. To address this problem, we need to further invest in one of these tankers, and my suggestion for you is Uranus. Not only his taunt is faster than Gathot, he's also a healer that can help the team. You can get his vessel to level 30, work on his Ole and Glorious Gems. Freya is actually a very good candidate as well. She's also very tanky, and the fact that she jumps around is no longer a problem. We don't care where she jumps to, we're just buying time for Mega Layla, you see. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!